Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have a rather interesting game for you guys if you watched way back on my channel. Uh, this is actually day one of the Clicker Heroes 2 beta. Now, unlike its previous one, this game is not free to play. It's got a heavy price tag for $30 on Steam and I'm going to show you guys why it has that price tag specifically. Um, now, one other thing to note is this is not a sponsored video. Remember that sponsored videos require to have sponsored in the actual title. Um, and that this game has a skill tree based off of Path of Exile, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, there's also going to be multiple classes later on in the game. But let me go ahead and jump right in with Day 1 Beta and show you guys what it's like. So I'm going to go ahead and go... So I've cleared World 1, World 2. I'm not going into World 3 yet, so I'm going to repeat World 1 again. So... This is pretty much the basic of the game. Your character automatically runs and attacks. That's by default, that's how it works. When you start the game again, you're gonna have like, well basically I'll show you. Oh yeah, don't ever hit escape because it messes up your settings, but uh, let me fix this really fast. Uh, audio is a little loud. Where's the setting option? There it is. Just put a leg over here. Okay. Anyway, let's get let's get back to what I was saying. So, your character will pretty much automatically run. Uh, that is how it works. There is no taking damage. You don't ever die or things like that. Every couple zones, I don't know if it's every 20 zones or something, or every 10 zones, there's going to be like a timed area. Maybe it's every 5 zones. That's the part where basically if you're AFK when that happens and you run into it, um, you're going to like get ported backwards and you have to redo it. So you can't just continuously infinitely progress while AFK. Uh, so the skill tree, which is going to be, I guess, one of the big selling points of the game, is going to be here. So unlike most other idle games, this game has a skill tree, and there are going to be multiple classes. I don't know how the classes work on the skill tree, but if you've played Path of Exile, it's kind of similar to things on there. There are passive, everything is pretty much passive, right? But um, there are these keystones, which are kind of the blue ones, which augment your skills or add skills or something greatly to your character. Then there are yellow ones, which are also things that can modify skills and have global bonuses like, for example, switching it to treasure chests or like gold find or uh, reducing the cost of items. There's a bunch of shit on here that you guys are going to probably want to look around at. Uh, I'll just kind of hover over a couple of them if you guys are curious of them, unlike the big ones. Uh, one of the ones I'm working towards right now is actually Flurry, which haste increases the number of clicks in a multi-click by the percentage of haste you have. Uh, I'm playing a haste build, so I have a lot of like haste nodes on the tree, for example, and I'm specking into something called increased mega clicks. Well, well or mega clicks is what I'm doing. So to show you guys how my character clears, because this is not what the game normally looks like, um, I'm going to show you how I kind of play Clicker Heroes, right? So every time you get a piece of gear or a new piece of gear or an upgrade, you can add a stat to it randomly. So it'll tell you what stats you can choose between. So I'm doing haste, right? Also, let me show you how my build works. We like to clear like this. We don't like to stand still. So um, I actually got a skill point already. So I'm going to put a point in. We're working our way upward. I probably should get a chance. I'm going to get... No, I'm not going to get Fortuna's Lucky. I'll get Treasure Chest because I'm going to need it. Um, so this is my multi-click, which hits 17 times for one energy. We don't actually click. Uh, you do have the default left click. One left click consumes one energy, but once you kind of start creating custom builds and stuff, you're probably not really going to be left clicking too much, unless that's how your build works. So chest piece, I'm going to buy haste because that's what we're scaling. Uh, you can press Z to buy multiple at the same time. We're going to use Energize, which gives us some energy regen. Uh, mana is used for Energize, from what I know, and uh, energy is used for all of your click attacks. Um, so from this pool, we're going to go click damage, because multi-click is tagged as a click. And for leg armor, we're going to go crit damage. Let's see, let's level this up. I like to level every piece of gear to 50, because... When you get to level 50, you get the big multiplier. 100 also gives it as well. So we're going to go gold received. Global gold. Oh, there's a haste. You have a detailed page where you can see what all of your stats do over here. Um, along with pretty much everything else down here. I know that my uh, webcam is blocking a couple things, but it's just showing other stats here. There's not like 
too many places to put it unless I put it like in the middle of the screen. I promise it's nothing, anything special that I'm blocking. You can see like the stats here. They're just like minor nodes. Um, and also if you want to see, it's these exact stats that I'm showing right here. So let's go into gold received. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into... Let me start leveling this up. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay. Uh, stone sword. Let's see, 600. That's like way too much, so fuck that. We'll just wait a little bit here. Okay. So stone sword, I don't really like any of these stats. I'm just gonna disable the webcam. You guys, you guys know what I look like now, right? <clears throat> um, treasure chest chance is okay. If I pick random bonus, it rolled. So because remember how I said it adds a stat. Now we're on like the second tier. So this has haste on it. I can add haste and mana, haste and uh, mana region, haste and treasure chance, or random, which will give me the same amount of stats. So it randomly generated two crit rolls, which is 1% and 1%. So I'm going to take that, which is really good. Um, this has gold received. The random is nothing that I want. One thing that's kind of interesting is uh, on my passive tree, I actually hover over a equipment weapon for sword, which multiplies the damage you deal with weapons. So I usually go pretty heavy into swords just because of that reason. Uh, next up, we'll go crit damage. Uh, gold receive is good. Mm, energy, energy, random stats. Now we'll just go with... I guess energy is okay to have a little bit of. Uh... I want to strongly uh, kind of encourage you guys as well, if you play this game, to really kind of make your own type of character. You can see this is just how I've chosen to modify. And if you're curious, like one of the big nodes I have is Mega Increase Multi-Click, which adds nine clicks to my multi-click, which is this one, but increases the energy cost. And then I also have Increase Multi-Clicks, which adds um, three clicks to my multi-click for one additional energy. And one of the other things we're going to be picking up for our build, actually, is we're going to be getting this thing called, uh, this is later, but we're going to get Limitless Haste, which removes the global cooldown issue. Uh, if you guys are familiar with how GCDs work, that's basically this right here. Haste lowers the global cooldowns, but with Limitless Haste, you can bypass the minimum, which is one second. So by having Limitless Haste plus Flurry, which scales the number of clicks on my multi-click by my haste, is going to be obnoxious. And then we're going to get uh, Hecaton's Echo, which is going to make huge click, which is this one, apply every 20 clicks. And since this is tagged as a click, that means our multi-click will proc our huge click five times. Not in one hit, but over time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go with, let's see, Boots. Haste is on there. We're going to go with Crit Chance. Uh, let's get Haste. Okay, we got to level some stuff up. Boom. Every 25 levels, there's also kind of like this boss dude. Um, we are kind of strong right now, so he's gonna... Okay, he's gonna die really fast, but normally it takes you a little bit of time to kill him. This is my second time repeating this world. So we need 29, let's see, 8, okay, once we get 8, uh -huh. okay, we can now get our new weapon, we're going to go crit chance, and remember, weapons we like to invest a lot into, now the way your energy regenerates is, uh, there's buffs and stuff you can get for energy, but every time your character attacks, you get one energy, so increasing your haste increases your attack speed, uh, which allows you to get energy faster. The only thing is, is there's still this run delay in between, but remember that you can left click to just instantly blink to a target. You can also press W if you want to, but that will consume one energy. But it's okay because if you spend an energy to get into the target's face, it's kind of okay. It's like not that bad.
Uh, mana regen total, mana clickable gold. This gives haste and click damage. What do we have? Gold received, treasure chance. So actually, I would rather take the random stat in this scenario. Uh, clickable gold, click damage, random stat. Random stat is crit chance, but this is already good, so click damage is good. Uh, also, our energize ran off, so let's put that on. Uh, this is just global gold received, or 4% crit on our ring. Click damage gold received? That's re- that's insane, actually. Random proven useful. Okay, we're done with that. I don't have to touch that. Uh, let's get click damage. Gold received. Okay. Crit damage. Okay, crit damage is yummy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. just awesome watching the zone progress just shoot up like crazy so now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and play a little safe and we're gonna get so well, slow and we're gonna get some energy back by hitting these guys uh, there's another haste option here so that's awesome got a new sword at 45 that won't be for a little bit there are also different ways to display the like the text and stuff there's like I don't know there's like advanced exponent there's uh, um, letters instead of like expo i don't know there's a bunch of different stuff so make sure if you guys are curious or like if you don't like how certain things look check the settings or like do a little bit of research and you can kind of kind of see like what is where ninety five percent damage from my boots Okay. Now, there is another big part of the game um, that I want to get into, which is basically what you do when either you're playing the game on the side or you're sort of AFK. And this is another, like, really big part of it. And it's called the, I believe it's the Automator, which is this tab right here. So I want to talk about all the tabs that we have here. We've got the item tab, which I've pretty much talked all about. We've got the skill tree tab, which we spoke about. Um, this is just your general skills tab, which shows you what you have. Then the automator. Now the automator is something new to Clicker Heroes, and it's kind of his way of allowing people to still, you know, min-max the game and play while they're AFK. So first off, I want to state that the automator is directly influenced by the passive tree. The more you spec into automator passive, so for example of like adding things to automation or speeding up the automator speed or setting um, exceptions for how the automator procs. So basically, to show you how this works, uh, I'm going to go to the automator and I want to say, this is, remember, I only have these because I'm not really specking into automator because I'm like pretty active when I play. Um, I want to cast my multi-click, which is the one you always see me using every four seconds. So I'm going to turn on the automator and it'll check. The little automator thing will come and pulse. Boom. Four seconds. And then you have to wait. It'll pulse again. Boom. And it'll keep going. I can set up a 10 second one, which will say, for example, cast this buff, which does... Oh, that's just a regular click. Never mind. So that'll show on the... It'll click every 10 seconds and you'll see how that works when it goes. Boom, and then the second one goes, and it'll click extra. So that's cool, because you can kind of set up your own, like, almost like macro system uh, in the game. And um, you can easily just toggle it by T, which will turn it off so it's not on, or you can literally just pull them in and out and just kind of do that to it. And then, of course, there is the Ascension, which I was telling you guys about before, but we don't, I mean, I don't really know much about this yet. I've only, I'm only on, you know, this current planet, so... Ooh, crit chance. More crit chance. I love me some crit chance.
Oh, we leveled? I did not even know that we leveled. Okay, so we are going into... God, I want so many fucking things, but I can't get them all. Adds nine click. I didn't even see this one. There's another one. Oh, oh my God, that's perfect. That's so perfect. Okay, well, we'll worry about that one later. Um, we need to go... Damn, now I wonder if I could have went across a different way. I didn't theorycraft my build, boys. Feels bad. Uh, let's go into just gold here. I think I gotta go this way. Like this. Because I'm getting flurry. Unless I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's like way too much. Way too much. Okay, never mind. Uh, anyway, let's go back over here. Uh, let's get critical damage. Yeah, critical damage. Okay. Let's just do that. One, two, three. Max him out. We just went zooming, like, really far. <laughs> like, really far. I'm kind of oom now. So, one of the other things is, uh, beta is going to be wiped as well. So, don't feel that, like, you know, you're going to be at a crazy disadvantage because you're not playing beta or, you know, whatever it is that people feel about that stuff. So, beta will be wiped. I don't know exactly if they said or posted, you know, when they're going to be doing what. Um... And uh, part of the reason also why it's such a hefty price tag for $30 for an idle game is that he doesn't, there's no, there's no, I don't think there's any type of microtransaction stuff. I mean, that doesn't really matter. It's just cosmetic appeal, but there's no pay to win of any regard, nor will it be added. And that's part of the reason why there is the upfront price tag. Um, so he doesn't really have to worry about any of that stuff. And then of course, for my personal evaluation of the game, I don't know if I could say it's worth $30 right now. I mean, to me, I think if I have fun, the game is worth $30. Like, that's just the way I look at it. But I know that a lot of people, you know, really want to make the most out of their money. But if, as long as all the content that come, that he said is coming out, like, it seems amazing. Having, just playing an idle game with multiple classes from that point of view with a customized skill tree is enough for $30 for me, personally. Like, I, I think that's good. Uh, especially like with how clean the animations feel, how smooth it, how smooth everything actually feels. Um, I really, really respect that about the game. Oh shit, it's time to get a new weapon too, I didn't even notice. So let's get, uh, boom. And then this is 64 to upgrade, that's not gonna be for a while, but we can just go zoom zoom. And then we need to put on Energize again. Can't put on Energize, oh, 20 mana, perfect. Perfect! Okay, let's go with random, mm, what is this, for helmet? I think for helmet we could just get some bonus gold chance, I guess. Okay, this is good. We can get some mana back now as well. See how fast it is? It's awesome, dude. Haste is so good. Whoa, the random breastplate rolls 10% haste on it. Nah, it's not worth it. Go treasure chest chance. Hmm, treasure chest again. Okay, 5% haste. Oop, should not have leveled that helmet again. Alright, we're gonna get some more energy again.
Guess you don't really get much energy when you one shot everything though. It's okay, maybe we won't one shot the boss. Uh, I think that was like the little mini boss. Here we go. We can get some more energy off these guys. Okay. Um. Oh well, I think I one shot him again now. Re I'll just take some on the regen. I think we're getting we're getting kind of close towards the end here, so that's good. need some mono regen or the little ruby dude oh here we go we'll get really good mono regen off this here's the boss sorry energy regen i keep calling it mana it's force a habit i'm sure people are going to get very upset <laughs> um 20 crit damage 30 gold nah we'll just get uh fuck it i'll just get some energy 80 for the next weapon. How much do we have? 75? That's not for a long time. Gimme that energy! Oopsies. Misclicked? Oh, speaking of which, I was asking about this guy. Gain 10 mana. Okay, cool. 1, 2, 3. Seems good to me. Okay, boys, we're going zoom zoom. Oh, let me hit this one, and let's go. It's pretty interesting because uh, when I'm multi-clicking, I don't really get any regen, which kind of sucks. But one thing to note... Oh, god damn it, I hit escape. Options, graphics, full screen, games in beta, by the way. Uh, resume, option, skill tree. There is a note up here, synchrony, which skills do not interrupt auto attacks. So I think I would have crazy sustain if I had that with multiplex. Okay, so we're saving for 2.1. Oh, we're almost there. And we have like, look at that, full energy again. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of clickable shit on the map too, but to be honest, I like can never really tell because between streaming or you're recording or just clicking this button is pretty hard to notice what's flying around. Oh. Received. Oh, we have a boss as a chest. That's really good gold. Let's go with uh, click damage.
I want to just keep clicking it, but my my energy won't like sustain it yet. The need to click it is so real. Oh, here we go. These guys are getting more tanky now. What is that boom? Is that like a crit? I wonder that like red... And maybe that's just... Oh, that's how they die. I think that thing explodes. This guy right here? No, this guy right here. Yeah, okay. That's just how it looks. Okay, so we're saving up for that sword too, but not yet. Because we're still need to get our boots to 50 and then our cloak to like 8 or something. I gotta stop doing that. When I get to the boss, I need to just hit it for energy. Or I guess I can do that right here and just chill for a sec. I don't want to level this up, because the second I level this up, these guys die, like, instantly. Alright. Okay, so we're saving for 90... Oh, no, no, that's right, we're upgrading this. And then we'll just go with gold, receive crystal sword. No, nope, no, nope, we're just gonna get mana. Nice, I kind of fucked up, but it's okay. We we recovered. This is it. The big sword, and it's 3.8. Okay, this will send us once I get this. Come on. That boss died like instantly too. Okay, so this is the this is the world boss right here. Now one thing about bosses in this one, which is really nice, is if you notice as I'm hitting the boss, a bunch of coins are popping out. And the reason for that is the first time you attempt these guys, you're not going to be... Well, you may be able to kill him. It really depends on, like, how you prioritize your character and stuff. But if you fail to kill him, what happens is this attempt number... I don't know if anything changes on the attempt, but basically you can see the gold that you've earned here. I think this is the gold you earned here? Yeah. And then when the round ends, um, you simply get the gold added to you, and then you just retry it again. And that's it. Also, one last thing to say before, I don't know if this is going to let me do this or not. Remember that pretty much everything you do with your character uh, stacks. This Clicker Heroes is all about stacking multipliers, so um, learn pretty much how to stack your multipliers very, very well. Oh, and here we go. Frozen is the next place to go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it from me hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and i will see you guys all tomorrow take care everybody